This is the prettiest plate ever. So I'm gonna make some dry pot for lunch today, which is why I have all these ingredients. But I wanna put you guys on something that I've been really obsessed with recently. Um, also, cause I've been cooking a lot more, but these sauces are insane. So this is the Triple Threat Good On Everything Trio by Fly By Dream. They have the cutest packaging, but these are good for everything. I have literally replaced all of my hot sauces with these. Plus they always give cute suggestions on what you can put this on, but you can pretty much put this on anything. I've seen like ice cream, Bloody Marys. So we have the Song Sauce, the Sichuan Chili Crisp, and the Mala Spice Mix. They're 100% vegan, all natural, and non-GMO. And I've been making so many things with these. I've been using this one specifically for dry pot, so we're gonna use that to make dry pot today. But I just wanted to shout them out because I love spicy food. So I'm honestly so glad that fly baking is becoming more popular. I just like that these are so accessible and make it really easy to cook good Chinese food at home. They also gave me a code, so you guys can check them out here. Click the code and yeah, let's make our dry pot. Hello. It's like a couple of girlfriends and I are going to a shot of art in Midtown for a fluid art class. I feel like I've been doing a lot of artsy things recently, which is making me really happy because I feel like I haven't really explored my creative side a lot recently. And I would like to think that I'm a very creative person, so this class is going to be good for my soul and my creativity. matches the new chair <laughs> new chair unlocked you hear sewing noises james is in his sewing corner sewing something but we finally finally got a side chair for this section next to the couch so we have that and then we also got a new tv console so the chair is from 25 home and it's a velvet caterpillar chair i wasn't really sure what color to pick 
but we ended up picking orange because I feel like our space is too white and between all the colors I just thought orange would look good and then this beauty here is our new TV console I really like it because it's very um, sturdy it was such a bitch to carry up but it's so functional and pretty and there is a surprising amount of storage space and now my plants also have a new home as well as these posters and we did get it from this brand called Homery. I will link this and the chair in the description below. This is what the poster corner looks like. We still have much more wall space to cover up there. And I did hang up this bag from Charles and Keith um, just because I thought it was very cute. It also kind of looks like a painting, so I thought it would be fine, but let me know what you guys think. And speaking of posters, if you watched my last productive vlog, I printed a ton of posters from FedEx for a dollar with the FedEx poster hack, which you guys should do. And I only had five frames, so I had a ton of other photos that I needed to put in frames. And I realized that Walmart has very, very cheap frames. So we got a ton of these. I also got these 16 by 20 frames, even though I don't have posters that fit this right now. But these were only $3 or close to $3, like very, very cheap. And then eight by eights, because these were, I think, a dollar or two, which is really great. Also, you might have noticed. We got rid of the cat tree. We disassembled the cat tree and then put it into our closet. And that is because we do not have a cat right now. If you've been on this channel for a while, you might remember the era where I had my fluffy little white cat with me. Her name was Honey. Um, was. was. Sorry, her name is Honey. She's still alive. <laughs> She's with my parents because James is allergic. And also I only brought her to New York temporarily while she was having some health issues, but she's much better now. I feel like I have to explain that every couple of months because people will find my videos and then go to my newer videos and be confused where my cat is. She is very much doing well along with my first cat, Gata, and they've been doing great. My parents send me photos like pretty much every day of them and I miss them so much, but James is allergic so I can't really bring either of them to the apartment anymore. But I have been trying to persuade him to get a Siberian cat with me, which is the hypoallergenic breed. I think we're still hesitant because um, his allergies are kind of not severe, but like pretty bad. I've heard mostly good things though, like from coworkers that Siberian cats are really good for people with allergies, but I don't know. If you have a Siberian cat or if you have cat allergies and you have a cat, please let me know how your experience has been because I really want to know and I really want a cat and I really want to persuade James to get a cat with me. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you, have a good one. Oh, 
This is so cute. Love Ashley's corner. Nice. And Casey's corner. Did that take us an hour <laughs> to, to put one desk together? <laughs> Nice roof. 